Happy Friday, everybody. I want to make this video just to let you know that it is very easy, um, especially if you're transitioning or if you just made a decision to go natural, to get discouraged. And I want to let you know, don't get discouraged. Um, you have so much information that's available to you, um, books, you have YouTube, um, just web searches, things that can help you to understand, you know, more about your hair and your hair type, you know, different products. Um, you can read reviews. It is a preference if you decide to go natural, but I just think back to my first time of attempting to return natural. You know, I just came up against so much opposition, you know, people were not very nice about it, you know. Yeah, I could wear the braided styles, but after a while, you just kind of got tired of it. And I did not understand how to transition as far as, you know, like doing the roller sets or, you know, maybe wearing braids or things like that. You know, I just decided to transition with my own hair. And it was great for a while, but at that four month mark, it was just like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. And just listening to, you know, the things that people would say, of course, the negative things, you know, left me feeling all so fabulous. So, I caved and I relaxed my hair and the funny thing about it all is once I relaxed my hair I immediately went and got it all cut off so it's just like you know what was the purpose so um, I made a decision that I would return natural again the thing about it is this time you know coming in with more knowledge and um, having researched and actually took my time you know I knew that this is something that I would do so it wasn't a matter of if I was going to cut my hair off it was a matter of when I was going to cut my hair so um, even then you know I just started talking about it more and more and more and uh, my sister she laughs at me a lot because she's like I know you're going to cut your hair off because you always just talking about it so much and you know I just knew it was coming and even once I cut it, you know, um, well, before I cut it, or like right before I cut it, I think somebody actually like made me really mad. They said that it was unprofessional, and that it didn't look right, and, you know, people don't like natural hair, you know, how they were going to fool themselves, you know, because they know they got some nappy hair and blah, 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 you know, and I'm just kind of like, Pfft. like, I got offended, and I'm like, I'm not even natural, and you offended me, you know, but I'm just like, you, you know what, whatever. So, I went and got it all chopped off March the 9th, 2013, and it is just the absolute best decision that I've made. Um, again, it's a journey, so I've had to learn what products work for me. Um, some of the products that I used early on in the beginning, they were great, and, you know, it could have been because my hair was shorter, of course, or because I was, my hair wasn't as thick as it, as it is now. Um, you know, in my earlier videos, I talked about S curls that I use a lot, and also the Wave Nouveau. Well, shocker, I don't use those products anymore. Um, again, my hair has, you know, gotten a lot thicker, and it has grown. I mean, I've seen tremendous growth, and with that, you know, my products have changed. You know, with my hair texture being a coarser hair texture, I've, you know, gravitated to the heavier moisturizers. The oils that I use are still, you know, the same, just the staples. But as far as just the moisturizer itself, you know, it's changed. Um, I used to co I used to co wash uh, wash my hair. I say wash, but co wash my hair, you know, every day. I mean, with the TWA, you know, being as small as it was, easy peasy. Slap some water on that stuff and go, you know. But now that it's grown and because it's winter, you know, who has time to like detangle, you know, all the time? And not only that, but as far as like going outside with a wet hair, you know, wet hair in the winter time, it's not smart. So things have changed, um, but I do love my hair. As far as my hair um, now, you know, I experiment a lot, um, and it's fun, and I'm, you know, excited about the growth. Um, that's something with my relaxed hair. You know, I try different styles all the time. If I saw something, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna recreate that one tomorrow or something like that. So I'm kind of getting to that stage now, to where. I'll start, you know, just um, recreating, you know, different styles and things that I see. Um, but, you know, ask questions. If you're curious about somebody's hair, ask them. You can ask them something without being ignorant. And when I mean, when I say ignorant, I mean, if you see somebody with some long hair, you know, don't 
don't walk up to them and say, is that a weave in your head? Like, really? Who does that? Or, you know, just automatically assuming because somebody has long hair, they mix. Are you mixed? Like, no. Well, like, what difference does it make? You know, everybody hair grows at its own pace. And I believe, and I know I've heard people say before, my hair just won't grow. No, it grows and it's growing. You are, you just aren't retaining the length. So you have to just kind of switch it up and change your routine. You know, I know people whose hair just will not go past their shoulders. And I'm thinking, wow, you have been natural for like, you know, five plus years. Like you should have hair hanging out your back, you know, if you're not constantly getting it cut off. But, you know, I just believe that you can grow your hair as long as you want it to grow. You know, it's all up to you. If you love your hair and if you take care of it, then it'll grow. Um, something that I have learned to do is just to grow patience with my hair. I will look at people and, you know, I would say, man, you know, I have some long hair. And I would ask them, you know, how long have you been natural? And they would say, oh, you know, I've been natural for eight months. And I'm thinking, my goodness, you know, that's like two years of growth. You know, just me looking at it, you know, assuming. Well, the thing is, is that, you know, the more I talk to them, you know, I would ask them, so when did you big chop? And they would say, well, I didn't big chop. You know, I transitioned for nine months. Okay, so you have more than eight months of growth on your hair. So, I mean, again, if you are going to ask questions, you know, just ask the right questions and don't just, you know, bombard somebody with questions. I mean, you can pretty much tell somebody's open to um, talk to you about, you know, the products that they use or if they are, you know, subscribed to somebody on YouTube, like which channels they watch. Um, so, again, just don't get discouraged. The biggest thing that you can do um, that will benefit you in the future, no matter where you go, is to grow some hair.